Today we're going to talk about some of the major news in the industry these last couple of weeks. This includes new software releases and updates, new collaborations, new technologies, and much more. But before we do that, let's talk about today's video sponsor. If you are a fan of 3D art and have been looking for competitions in which you may take part and compete against others who share the same enthusiasm, Fox Render Farm hosts some pretty awesome annual challenges. These rendering challenges are created and ran by Fox Render Farm with the intention of giving creators a platform to hone their artistic abilities, showcase their skills, and have a chance to win fantastic rewards. You can take a look at the previous winners of the FGT 3D Hero Challenge and Santa's New Ride Challenge. For example, they did an amazing job of highlighting the concept of the prior iterations, and now they are introducing a new theme for the challenge and making a Christmas vibe render. So, if you want to know more about this challenge, we're going to be talking about it more in the future. We're going to start with the Cycles Render Engine, which now includes one API as a rendering device API in Blender 3.3 LTS release, which also supports the most recent Intel RTM series discrete graphics and Intel Data Center GPU Flex series. This is just one of the many new features and capabilities in this new version of Blender. Starting with Blender 3.3, one API offers complete cycles rendering features, including dense geometry, indirect lighting, geometry nodes, sophisticated raw tracing scenarios, and final frames rendered on Intel Arc graphics or Intel Flex series GPUs. In other news, the release of Corona 9 for 3DS Max and Cinema 4D has been announced by Kios. And of course, it comes with many new features and a lot of bug fixes. I don't think you will need an HDRI again where you can now add more details to your Corona Sky as well as animating it. You won't even need a complex video editor because with the new feature they introduced with the Kyos player, you can easily turn all your image sequences into a video format. Additionally, real geometry cannot be tiled across the surface just as easily as a texture and you can get ultimate realism for your materials with Kyos scans. Additionally, Epic Games joined the Open 3D Foundation as a premier member and with today's world racing faster and faster towards 3D technology, the O3DF provides a home for artists, content creators, developers, and technology leaders. Epic Games, the company behind Unreal Engine, has joined the O3DF as a premier member in order to support interoperability and mobility of assets, graphics, and media programming. By lifting limitations on the tools they use, this will enable artists and content producers around the world to unleash their creativity, which is fantastic. Now, jumping to something really interesting, we have Substance 3D Modeler, a VR and desktop-based sculpting tool from Adobe which has already been in beta for a while. And now it is a full software with many interesting features and tools that will free artists from the technical constraints of traditional 3D modeling. With it, you can focus purely on creative processes and create simple or complex 3D models, and fully conceive 3D scans. You will be able to interact naturally with your art with features like multi-surface support where you can switch easily and at any time between VR and desktop depending on the needs of the project. It has two types of sculpting, organic sculpting to build up smooth and refined organic forms and hard surface sculpting to create clear and detailed forms. It also has some powerful symmetry and repetition tools to quickly assemble complex structures and craft within incredible detail. When it comes to ArcVision animation, AXYZ has impressed us another time with their latest release of Anima 5. You probably want to check this new release if you want to include 3D animated people and crowds in your projects. Additionally, 4D digital humans and neural crowds are the two key features that Anima 5 provides for ArcVis artists that they will find very useful. With convincing details in motion, 4D digital humans are lifelike 3D models of animated individuals, while neural crowds replicate crowd dynamics using artificial intelligence. The figures actually move naturally, including their walk cycles and wrinkled clothing that move with them. Now, talking about strategic collaborations, we have an interesting one between Epic and Autodesk. In order to speed up immersive real-time 3D experiences across industries, Epic Games and Autodesk have established a strategic partnership with an initial focus on design, engineering, and building. So now, design, engineering, and construction professionals will benefit from easy access to immersive environments and collaborative workflows thanks to Epic collaboration with Autodesk, which will allow them to complete more creative projects faster. 
The first integration product will be Twinmotion from Epic Games and Autodesk Revit, which will assist designers in bridging their vision to life and explaining their intentions or satisfying difficult concepts. Actually, this way, building and infrastructure projects are designed, documented, and delivered using Revit, and Twinmotion supports the process of keeping up with the real-time rendering activities. We also have some interesting news from NVIDIA. OpenVDB, the industry standard library for modeling and rendering sparse volumetric data, such as water, fire, smoke, and clouds, now includes NeuralVDB, which NVIDIA announced a couple of weeks ago. The release of NeuralVDB is a game changer for experts working in fields including scientific computing and visualization, in addition to medical imaging, rocket science, and visual effects. It builds on the progress of OpenVDB over the last 10 years, and it enables 3D data to be represented even better resolution at a much bigger scale compared to OpenVDB by lowering memory footprint by up to 100 times. The end result enables designers, developers, and researchers to engage with incredibly huge and complex datasets in real time and allows you to effortlessly handle massive volumetric datasets on devices such as individual workstations and even laptops, which is really incredible. Now, talking about facial technologies, manual face tracking is the most time-consuming aspect of the workflow for 3D animators, and Facewear Technologies has now released Facewear Portal a program that will make you say goodbye to ROMs and tracking models. Neural net processing automatically captures facial movements with frame accuracy in a matter of seconds by coupling advanced machine learning with their proprietary computer vision technology. Facebook portal generates JSON and FWR files in addition to its unmatched speed and precision. This way teams will be able to go directly from video to animations in Unreal, Maya, Unity, etc using the new JSON drag data format, entirely avoiding retargeting. Next, if you are an iPad fan, this is gonna be probably a good news for you. The GPU renderer Octane and video editing effects and color grading software DaVinci Resolve will be accessible now on iPad and iPad Pro later this year, according to a statement by Apple. In the video announced to the device, Apple positions a new iPad Pro as a great tool for professional film creation that can be enhanced by software such as DaVinci Resolve and Octane X, which are not compatible with iPad tablets. Prior to the recent release of its 18th edition, it was only accessible on desktop operating systems including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. In the meantime, the Octane X iPad version is not much of a surprise since Autoy, the software developer, already announced the availability of the render engine for iOS along with the macOS version three years ago. The business did not provide a release date for Octane X for iOS. I hope you found these news interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.